Who has this one? I don't know. Does it, is it smashable proof? I'm always amazed when it comes to stupidity for TikTok content because for some reason as time goes on things are just getting perpetually worse and worse. And this video that we're talking about today that was submitted here is definitely up there. <laughs> Can you help him now? This right here is for everybody. They got me. So, you hear me? <laughs> you want to take a hit? You want to hit it? Come on. Yeah. Oh, damn. One more. We got to do it right here. Bust the TVs up? Um, no. Oh, okay. I didn't bust the TV up. Huh? Don't run. Don't run. <laughs> you hear it? What some people will do for attention is so wild to me, but I guess this is just where we are right now. Like some people have likable personalities and others, they'll just do the most outrageous thing they can think of for some basic level attention on the internet. And I guess they're just hoping that that would lead to some sort of fame and money. I'm just hoping that she brought her own TV to smash here, but still, why waste the time of everyone here? But after searching it up, there's actually a full YouTube video titled, Smashing TVs at Walmart, Got Arrested. Wow, no sh like. <laughs> Also, side note, but I hate how so many of these videos are done on retail workers who are on minimum wage or close to it. They have like more than enough going on dealing with their normal customers because sadly, some people are just terrible. So how about we avoid putting them on camera against their will to milk them for some social media clout? But I guess let's dive into what actually happened. What's up, girl, Daisy Dukes, and I am back with another banger. I'm back with another video. Like, I'm just trying to stay consistent for y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe right now. And then after you like, comment, and subscribe, I'm looking for the hoes. Nah, I'm just kidding. Child, I'm about to go in here and break a TV. What is this intro? Yes, this should have stayed in the drafts. Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'm going to smash a TV at Walmart. Like and subscribe. It's getting real dystopian out here, guys. But they don't know it's my TV. They gonna think it's their TV. We gonna make them think it's their TV, but really it's my TV that I brought from my house. That's really a big TV, so I'm really tripping. But it's anything for y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all so, so much. Now the bar is set very low for prank channels, but this is the dumbest prank I've seen in a long time. But who knows, maybe she can redeem herself. Excuse me, I have a question. Why does your vest look so dirty? <laughs> I'm just being honest. She should honestly just rename the video to harassing Walmart employees because I have zero personality but crave attention. Sorry. What's that for? What? That. Cat litter? You have a cat? Yeah. Why? I want cats. Oh, okay. Bye. You don't gotta do your face like that, ugly. Again, the bar is set incredibly low for prank channels, but I think this is the worst prank channel I've seen in my life. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm a miserable person. Today, we're going to be a net negative to society. But what's wild about this video is things just somehow get so much worse. So for her next prank, brace yourself because it's pretty wild. Okay, guys, you ready? She emptied out a ball bin, forget this, for a Walmart employee to come clean it up. Wild. What? To come out. Oh no, I got it. I'm just trying to get a ball. No, it's not gonna fall. You can climb up. I'm not trying to climb in there. I'm just trying to get a ball. Okay. Do you need some help? Which one do you need? No, I don't need no help. But I just saw you coming up over here. But I was just trying to reach. <laughs> I don't need no help. I'm gonna put them back when I'm done. You wanna help me put them back in there when I'm done? I feel so bad that people actually have to interact with this person and I'm also blown away that this person has 1.5 million followers. So people are actually watching and supporting this beyond brain dead content. But after a very painful and dragged on conversation, the employee leaves and returns with some help to clean up her mess. This week, I have to play with her. Excuse me, are you security? I was just trying to, she came over here being rude to me for no oh, reason. I'm not being rude to I have been on camera. Oh, you I was trying to. I don't need to see camera. Mm -hmm. okay. the balls on the floor? Because I was trying to get that that one for my son. Which one? Th that blue one up there. That's what I asked him. I, asked him. I wasn't trying to climb. Ma'am, I was not trying to climb up there. Excuse me, I can put it back. Oh, you're being rude. 
You will be rude first. Oh my gosh, don't be rude. And I won't be rude to you. I can help you put it back. Okay. okay. Well, I had no issue. I just wanted the blue ball and she came over here being rude to me for no reason. Trying to say I was trying to get in here. I wasn't trying to get in here. I was trying to get the ball. You got the one you wanted? No, that's not. No, ma'am. I wanted that blue one. But I couldn't get it. Do you want it? No, it's fine. Okay. She don't deserve my money. Now, she deserves a raise to have to deal with this bum. I feel like this is anti-content. It's so bad it becomes fascinating because it's a reminder that there's real people who actually act like this. And it's not like she's actually going to spend money here. No, she's here to smash her own TV. You know, the behavior to make your parents proud. I don't know what? No one ever, no one ever said that. He's not recording you. He has to stand with that camera like that. If he doesn't, he has anxiety. Just press the no record button, but just keep holding it. Yes, Is that all you have to tell me? Yes, well, they come to call the police. I don't want to do that. I have to tell you first. What are you calling the police for? Because we're not supposed to record in the store. That's the store. I've never heard that in my life. Let me look it I up. Yeah. I can call the manager too if you want to. I said I can look it up. No, I can call the manager too. But, like, why do you have to do that? I said because I can look it up. Can make it easy. Well, I don't have all day to stand here. I have to tell you you're not supposed to record here. Okay, then go do your job. No, I have my job is to tell you don't record here, please. <laughs> Did this woman just finish her shift and now she has to deal with this prankster? Like, she doesn't even deserve the title prankster because she's just harassing employees. There's no entertainment value here other than the fact that it's so bad it becomes fascinating. What we actually need is an honest prank channel. What's up, guys? Today I'm here to make myself absolutely unhirable. <laughs> like and subscribe. But this altercation goes on for minutes until she accused the worker of harassing her. <laughs> It wouldn't be so hard if you weren't harassing me. I'm not harassing you. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. You're harassing me. Stop. Take however you want. I feel harassed and I need you to back up. I'm here. Before I get a restraining order against you. <laughs> you're so funny. You are funny. Because you don't know what you're saying. You didn't even laugh for real. Like, you don't know what you're saying. Come on. That was the dumbest thing you ever did. I also just realized she hasn't even done her dumb prank yet. She spent more than half the video just harassing people. So she's done all of this and hasn't even smashed the TV. But she left that Walmart because she had to go to a new one because she called the police on her. And as soon as she gets to the new Walmart, she starts harassing employees again. What you think about this one? This one, I don't have. What? I don't have. What you think about this one? Okay, who has this one? I don't know. Does it, is it smashable proof? Oh my goodness, can you help him now? Look, if I, I don't have a bat either. I'm not look, bruh, if I hit, on, watch out. I'm trying to tell you something. But you hit me, you, you broke me down. Look, what? It's an Easter. This how, okay, but look, you think I can hit it right smack in the middle again? No, you wouldn't even swing it right. Okay, how? Huh? All right, back. you go first. First of all, swing the f out there. You hold it in your knuckles, not in your palm. You all right. Your swing side. this way. That's my TV. Swing this yeah. way. I'm going to hit your purse right here. No, Let me show you how that's my TV. You got me? All right, peace out. Y'all. Bye. I love how the Walmart employee just left and she didn't get the reaction that she wanted, so now she's mad. What the f Should I just keep hitting it till I'm done? And get all my anger out on this. And let's leave. Okay, let me smash a little more. You ready? Yes, I'm This right here is for everybody. They got me. So, you hear me? <laughs> you want to take a hit? You want to hit it? Come on. Oh, damn. One more. We got to do it right here. Me? We don't saw that TV. So are you all doing that stream or what? What are you all doing at church? What? I just want to buy it. Well, we don't saw that brand. Where where did it come from? Well, you brought it in, so I didn't see it. What is going on? Everybody acting confused. It's actually amazing how bad this is. Idea, two out of ten. Execution, one out of ten. You put the TVs up? Um, no. Oh, I didn't bust the TV up. Huh? Don't run. Don't run. 
That's not, that's my that's TV. Not, I'm, I'm gonna find out. I brought that TV for my house. I'm both amazed and impressed that she thought this was a good idea to post. Like, wow, congratulations. Not only did the people you went to school with know that you're insufferable, now the whole world does. Now, do you think that she learned anything from this experience? No, not at all, because her next video was, I pulled the fire alarm and got arrested. She's going to get sued, but this video is equally as bad. Wait, if I pull it, does everybody have to get out? I'm gonna go where? Hey, are you fucking around with the girl? This ain't no YouTube bullshit, bro. We got a job to do. What the fuck is you in here doing? Is something wrong with you? You're not finna sit here and pull no fire alarm in here, bro. Why are you talking to me crazy? No bro, you finna get out of the store, bro. I'm not I don't have to get out of nowhere. So are you gonna be mad? So are you gonna? Is this? Whoever that employee is, he's a legend. As for the girl though, I hope she can find something to do that isn't being a burden to society. Will that happen though? Probably not, because this is profitable and society's doomed.